Hey y'all, cruising the coast 2014 and I've got a little uh, 69 C10 street machine, street rod, kind of hot rod pickup truck we like. The cool thing is, if Paul was pulling in, he was offloading it, of course. You know me, I'm a dog, I was right after it, even before it came off the trailer. And he has his uh, head under the hood and he looked up, subscriber to the channel, he likes the channel, he follows it, so how cool is that? I always love shooting hot rods, but when somebody supports me, I get to show their ride, that's really cool. So anyways, let me get Paul run, uh, run down and uh, we'll take a look at it. Paul, how are you, brother? I'm good, Scotty. Nice to meet you, finally. Dude, it's so nice to meet you, too. Like I was telling folks, I love shooting hot rods, period, but when I can bring a, a supporter and a subscriber's ride to my channel, that is really cool. Tell me a little bit about the uh, truck you got. Well, we got a 69 Chevy um, short wide bed uh, here. It's, now, you uh, say a short wide bed, so the bed is actually, they made different width beds back in 69? No, it's just what they call it. They classify it as a short wide bed okay. instead of the long bed. They, oh, okay. You always hear it called a short wide bed. Okay, okay. I got gotcha. you. Because it's almost as wide as it is long, if you really look at it. It's almost square, isn't it? Yeah. But that's the way to go. Yes. Some definitely. people like the long beds, but the truth of the matter is, is you shorten them up, slam them to the ground, and they get a good look to them. Yeah, the stance is nice. I had a long bed before, and this is really what I wanted, so this is what I ended up. How long have you had the truck? I've had it about two years now. Um, this truck came out of Morrisville, North Carolina. I got it from uh, DC's Custom Classics out of there. Okay. I searched for a while and finally found what I wanted. Kind of a cool story. The guy that built this truck um, was the sheet metal guy for Jeff Gordon's race crew, and they kind of built it as a retirement truck for him. And he decided uh, he was moving to Brazil and couldn't take it with him. He found out. So, so you can't have hot rods in Brazil. I think it's got something to do with the value of the money or the year. I didn't really understand okay. what was going on, but uh, now they got some jacked up laws in other places in the world. Not everywhere is the United States, and. For a fact, not everything is like cruising the coast, because down here they let they let you have a good time down here. You haven't been before? No, this is our first trip, and uh, we're pretty excited. I have good friends that come all the time, and they finally talked me into coming, so we're excited to be you here. You will not be disappointed. Now, you say last weekend you were in Texas autocrossing this truck. Yeah, as you can see, I got some uh, two years now autocross stickers from good guys. I like to run autocross. I'm not a you know big time autocross. It's not set up for that. It's right. just got a. It's got a 4.6 static drop on, uh, it's all original suspension. Just oh, shorter wow. springs and um, the uh, spindle drop. So it's a factory ride. It's just shortened. It's just shortened. Yeah, it's that's just it. setting low. It's got uh, 17 inch wheels wrapped around it. Eight all the inch, way around? All the way around. Uh, eights on the front, tens on the back. Okay. Um, I like what you did here, whoever did here with these SS stripes. Yeah, when I picked up the truck, uh, it was about 80% done. He did a full frame off, uh, all new nut and bolt. Um, and I just didn't really catch my eye when I seen the truck just solid green. Right. So I added the, uh, the uh, SS stripes on it, on the hood and on the tailgate. Man, that's cool. It's got the right stance. I like how the exhaust comes out the side of it. Yeah, it's got two and a half inch uh, stainless steel pipes exhaust, it's called, and then right. those are thunder tips uh, running out of uh, QTP cutouts. Oh, okay. So it's oh, electronic. You got electronic cutouts, too. Electronic cutouts. How sweet is that? Oh, I love how it comes onto the tailgate, too. <clears throat> that's cool. That's a bed, just a bed liner. Yeah. yeah. That's a nice touch. That bed liner was done by. Um, uh, classic truck customs out of Sherman, Texas. Um, is this your uh, is this your uh, car club there at home? Yes. Uh, the cool story about that is uh, about a year after I had this truck, he uh, gave me a bumper plaque from the the fifties. They used to run your on dad the car. Did. My dad did. Right. And it was rod snappers from where he's from. And uh, I ended up having that design, that uh, inlay design, and it sprayed in with the colors of the truck. It's, I took him to paint, and he matched. That's 90 model Corvette green and 90 model Corvette silver, the color of the truck. It almost looks like the uh, silver. I guess it's because it's laying it's against on that the green. green. It's laid on the green. It almost, I mean, it's perfect. Don't get me wrong, but it almost looks like a, a, a lighter green, a real silverish green, you know? Yeah, careful. I'll trip, too. Yeah. Oh, that is, dude, that is just awesome. Like I said, you follow my channel, so you know I'm nuts about these little street trucks. Yeah, I, I you follow know. your channels because that's where I see a lot of these trucks now. It's hard right. to find, you know, someone out there actually looking for them. Can you open the door and let me see inside? Sure, no problem. Come on, 
this side of you. That's cool, man. That's just basic. Just a, just a really nice, clean interior. I run a 16 inch lock car shifter and the, the new lock car pedals that came out. Sure enough. Man, that's chill, dude. That's just so, that's so cool. I can't choose, but I'm telling you, if I had a lot of money, I'd have one of these trucks in my garage, that's for sure. That is cool, cool, it's got cool. got the Brothers one-piece uh, windows. Yeah. So you notice the vent glass is removed. Okay. And another thing you won't see, or I haven't seen on another vehicle, is the GM one-piece mirrors. Those yeah. are modern mirrors yes. that are on there. Yeah, no, that's very cool. And then the grill and everything is the way it would have been. That's all original. It's it's pretty much all original. That you know that call hood is. I mean, it's not too high. It's just I mean, it's just the right you know just right there. What do we got going under here, Paul? Uh, it's a little 355 uh, with the uh, Elderbrock top end on it, and and now I'm running Demon Carb. Um, and now is that a true carburetor? Or is that uh, throttle body? No, that's carb. This okay. is old school. Um, choking all that, choking, and you gotta yes. let it warm up. All yes, that. Yeah. yes, choking all. And then I'm running a um, turbo 400 behind it with a 2800 stall. That's a good man, 2800 too, right? Comes yeah. out of the hole good. Uh, sure we got not. the twin electric fans on it with the five row aluminum radiator. Boy, there's so much room in there, isn't there? Yeah. You can get in there and still work on this one. And I like how you got that peak glass on the, yeah, uh, the cool view glass. Right. And uh, still got air conditioner on it. Yeah, 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 you gotta have air, bro. <laughs> I don't care where you get it, where you hide it, what you do, but you gotta have yeah. air. You think that, is that hood metal or is that fiberglass? No, it's metal. It's all yeah. steel, everything. So you had, when they built this truck, they had a Hendrick shop available to them to help them build it. Yeah, it was in their shop. All the photos I have them building it was in their shop um, during the build. I think he spent about two years doing it. Um, but. It's all new sheet metal except for the cab. The cab's the original, but everything else is new on it. That you, you know, you can just buy all that stuff now new instead of right. trying to fix up all that old dentist stuff. Sure, sure, that's the way to do it. Anybody we need to give a shout out helps you get it. Maybe your dad, uh, you know, that was, I guess his car club kind of inspired you at some yeah, point. Yeah, I, I, I appreciate my dad giving me that plaque. It kind of inspired me to do that logo. And then of course now we got our own little uh, club after that too Mimic, right. and I didn't know anything about it, it was what kind of cool about it right until later and then what he pulled out of the attic or something just forget I to tell you I or? don't know where he had it I never seen it before the whole time I was raised and uh, he just brought it to my house one day so I think our parents all got some uh, skeletons in the closet you know what I'm saying <laughs> I, I kind of heard he was in a hot rod club but not that deep so right, it was right. cool so man brother nice truck thanks so much for letting me shoot it oh well thank you yep. appreciate it Folks, there you go. What did I say? What year was it again? I'm sorry, 69. 69 C10. How cool is that? You know, like I said, I just love these trucks. I saw this one come off the trailer, and then it turns out, you know, this dude supports me too. Man, I love it. Hope you all have enjoyed it. You know we weren't going to get out of here without hearing this. I heard it come off the trailer. That is perfect. I like that little bit of a tin sound you get to it. You know that little rat?